Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets and I am Amanda. Today I am here to do my week one budget recap. And typically in a budget recap, I go through all of my expenses and my transactions that I did not plan for during my budget projection. So basically um, a budget recap will go from the previous pay Friday up until the following Thursday before the next payday. So that's what we're dealing with today. So for those that are new to my channel, welcome. And those who are not new, then welcome back. I really do appreciate you coming back here again to um, listen to another video. So I am going to project a screenshot of my recap up on the screen so that you can follow through with me. Didn't have a whole lot going on this week, which I am happy about. And so we'll dive right in. As you can see, this is the week one budget recap, December the 3rd through December the 9th, 2021. Number one, we have auto gas. Yes, that is actually a nine after the dollar sign. Yes, my SUV took $96.73 to fill up last week. So that money came out of some overtime money that I um, got from a paycheck. And yeah, I just couldn't believe it. I almost paid $100 to fill up my tank. I think the tank is about a 28.5 gallon tank. And yeah, that's what it was. All right, let's move right along to number two. Um, I went to a wings and burger place um, one night for dinner. It was probably Friday because I typically don't cook on Friday for me and the children. And that was $49.19. Also, I think that's pretty pricey for eating out. And especially if it's not at a restaurant, it's kind of like in between a restaurant and a fast food joint. So yeah, but anyway, that money came from the bills checking account. Next, I purchased a birthday gift for $50.50. And that was, that money came from my overtime money. And last but not least, I ordered a pair of jogging pants offline for $35.31. And that money came from the bills checking account. So that's where we are with the recap for this week. Wasn't too bad. Some of the items were more than I would have liked to pay for them, but it is what it is. Now, as you can see, the very last thing on the sheet with the asterisk beside it is the mortgage update. Y'all know I love doing my mortgage updates, so let's dive right into it. So, what I'm going to do is right now I'm going to project up on the screen the previous balance, a screenshot of the previous balance where we left off. And at that point, you should see the balance of $83,596.29. So that's where we left off. But let me go back and check my budget projection sheet. And I am going to or was supposed to send a total of that 268 for the mortgage um, amount plus the debt amount of 304. So I sent in $572 this past week toward the mortgage and that went directly toward the principal. So if we subtract that 572 from our balance, I am going to project up on the screen the amortization sheet with the new balance, okay? So you should see that up on the screen right now. And the new balance is $83,024.29. We are almost in the 82s, guys. And as you can see, with that $572 payment, I was able to highlight two lines, line 94 and line 95 from the sheet. So that took off two more months of payment. It almost took off three months because if you see that very next line, is, it was $82,999. So I was like $25 away from highlighting that line. So we will definitely get that one highlighted off um, next week. So that's where we are. I am so excited. We are moving along. 
We are in the at the end of the first week of December. We still have about three more. Is it three? Four more paychecks. Yeah, in this in this month because there's a fifth Friday. So we're going to see how far we can get. It would be great to get this number in the 70s. That would be great, but that's like $3,000 I would have to pay in the next four weeks. So yeah, but you know, I can always strive for a goal. You never know. But that's all I really have for this video today, guys. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Come along on this journey with me. If you're paying off debt, um, if you just want to be here for entertainment purposes, or if you're looking for some kind of strategy to use as you pay down your debt to keep you motivated, come along, subscribe to the channel, send the um, video links and share them with other friends and families that may be interested in it. So this is really all I have for this video. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big, but start small around here. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.